Well, hello, hello, hello. Today, you'll get to use this graph, a dice, and the three primary colors. Now, we've been learning about the primary colors. You know what they are. You know that it starts with red. So I'll color this crayon red underneath the word red. You should do the same thing. And there's yellow. I'll color this crayon with the yellow. And let me make sure this is blue. I'm going to read the wrapper. Yes, this is blue. It's not indigo or any other kind of blue. This is true blue. All right. Now that I've done that, I'm going to use the dice. I'm going to get to roll it three times. Once for red, once for yellow, once for blue. So you give your die a little jiggle or number cube. Some of us call these number cubes. Ah, five. So for red, I am going to do one, two, three, four, five. And I color it in. Now it's important that you put the red in the red column. And in order for me to remember to do that, I colored the little crayon down there first. So stay inside the lines. Color five blocks red. These blocks are going to be used later for making art. I know you're wondering, well, how are we using this graph to make art? You will soon sh see how we do that. You will soon see. All right, red is done. So I've done five with red. Okay, now give our number cube random number generator another toss three. So I mark one, two, three, and then I proceed to color those in with the yellow. Right now, there are two more red blocks colored than the yellow. And all together, five plus eight, three is eight. Five, three, eight, okay. But there's two more red than yellow two less yellow ones than red ones. Okay, and the last time we roll this, and just be honest, just take the number that you get, even if it lands on one and you probably wanted a big number like six, you know, take the number that you get and roll another three. Okay, one, two, three. And color with the blue. I had hoped for uh, each of them to have a different number, but um, you take what, it, what you get. You know, it, it was random. We can't plan it. And that's why we use the cube, roll it, and take whatever number you get. All right, so how many all together do we have here? There are five here. I think I'll write the number. There's a five. This is five. This is three. What's five plus three? Eight. And this is three. What's eight plus three? Eleven. Okay. Well, that is important to know. This is important information. I'm going to move this to the side because now you get to go shopping. There will be a basket available that's going to have red shapes and blue shapes. I need more blue shapes and yellow shapes, lots of yellow there. So if my graph says I need three blue shapes, I'm going to go to the basket that has blue shapes and take out three. One and a two and three. Three. I like a variety, so I chose three different shapes, a rectangle, a square, and a triangle. Okay. Next is yellow. <clears throat> One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
two, doo, 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 and three. Okay, so I'm done with yellow. I'm done with blue. Out of the way. Red. Ooh. Ooh la la. I get five red. So this is one, two, three. Do, 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 do. Four. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Five. Now, all of those are very different. Okay. So, if I have these five red shapes and <clears throat> let's make them so we can see them all on camera. All of these red shapes. Okay. I don't need this graph anymore. It was nice to use it at first, but now I don't need it. These three yellow shapes and these three blue shapes, what kind of art, what kind of picture could I make? That's the problem. Well, listen, if you take a piece of paper and arrange these shapes however you like, you can make a, a bunch of different things. Let's see, if I turn my paper this way, let me turn it this way. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll just do a really nice design. Do, 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 do. I mean, art can be whatever you want it to be. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do. You notice um, some of my shapes are touching other shapes, and that's okay. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Well, I don't want it to completely cover that one. I think I'll move this one up a little bit like this and bring this down here. Ah, uh, I have one more shape. Let's see, where can it go? Do, 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 do. Wow, okay. Do, do. That sort of looks like a neighborhood. Wait, it does look like a neighborhood. Do, 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 do. That looks like a neighborhood. But I could scratch that idea. I could go for something else. Now, when you use your shapes... You have to use them all. You cannot rip them, tear them, or change them in any way. Wow. It looks like I'm making... I'm trying to make an animal of some sort. I've added almost all of my shapes. Hmm. Or I get up for something else. Totally different. Do, 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 do. Sometimes when I'm thinking I hum, so part of my humming. And so this design sort of has symmetry. So see, whatever you decide to do, whatever works for you is what you should do. Just have fun using the primary colors. 
This sort of looks like a rocket. I mean, it's, I, I love it. It has symmetry. It's fantastic. So, when you get your handout, get your three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. You will get a dice, roll three times, get your numbers, and then you get to go shopping for your shapes, and then you get to create. It's just that easy. So have fun, and I'll see you again next time.